when I moved to the United States, I did not necessarily understand any of the immigration laws. I was born and raised in London. I didn't have to go through it myself. My father was an immigration barrister, so I had some experience, but not the type that I had to go through. And when I went through it myself, it was quite a journey from filing the forms to feeling stuck in the United States to getting a green card and feeling the exhilaration of having that freedom of a green card. Also, I don't know if you remember, but in 2007, no, 2004 or five in the United Kingdom, there were a lot of bombings that happened in the oh, two yeah. and other places. So suddenly, you know, being a brown skinned woman, I suddenly mm. faced a lot of scrutiny at various borders. Even in Canada, my husband just proposed to me and we went to Canada to Whistler. We were so happy. We celebrated with Dairy Queen ice cream and <laughs> the movie and we're on our way to Whistler and boom, we're at the border and we get stuck there and treated very poorly. Mm. I remember standing in that room where our queens, God bless the queen, there's a lot of news going on in the United Kingdom today, but her picture was on the wall in this border office and I was being treated poorly but I kept thinking gosh we share the same queen we speak yeah, the same yeah. language we drink <laughs> the same tea it was quite the experience and I had several of those both mm -hmm. in the U.S. and at the Canadian border but what that did for me it trained me in what I needed to teach my clients oh, at yeah. the time I did not know I was going to be an immigration lawyer I just didn't know, but the universe has its own plan and I just went with the flow.